before any worker enters the trench. It should have already been inspected by a competent person. They classify the soil type, either an A, B, or C, and determine the best way to proceed with the excavation, either benching, sloping, or using shoring or shielding with trench boxes. Either can lead to a collapse or cave-in. Once the trench has been inspected and found to be safe to enter, it is important to use a ladder for your access and egress. Use three points of contact every time you climb up or down the ladder. Make sure you have two hands and one foot or two feet and one hand in contact with the ladder at all times. One of the most important safety rules when working around heavy equipment is keeping in the operator's line of sight. If you can't see him, he can't see you. Always make good eye contact with the operator. Always know the equipment's swing radius, the distance that the equipment's boom, buckets, or attachments can reach out to while the equipment is in operation. It's always a photo separation. And then it's gonna be the communications like it is while we're working on right now. Another 12 inches of sand, and then it's gonna be gas on top. Another 12 inches of sand. So what does this stake tell me? What's 10 CL? Send the line to the box. Okay, this is the side of the box. Inside, physical inside of the box, kind of like it's not straight, but so now the, I know what is the center. I based on the distance of the curb and gutter, my box is gonna be too close. So in this particular area, I have has to look the prints to see if I have a room to move it a little bit because otherwise I'm gonna be touching sidewalk. So that... Trench collapses or cave-ins pose the greatest risk to workers' lives. When done safely, trenching operations can reduce workers' exposure to other potential hazards, including falls, falling loads, hazardous atmospheres, and incidents involving mobile equipment. OSHA standards require that employers provide workplaces free of recognized hazards. The employers must comply with the trenching and excavation requirements of 29 CFR 1926.651 and 1926.652 or comparable OSHA approved state planned requirements.